Hi everyone, this is Father Mark from St. Pat's of Heather Downs and Happy Lent. You can tell that we're starting Lent today because I have ashes on my forehead, obviously in the sign of the cross. As Catholics, for 2,000 years, we have put the ashes of palm branches that were burned on our foreheads at the beginning of Lent. It's a reminder to focus on the spiritual things in this kind of worldwide 40-day retreat that we call Lent. Whenever I think of Lent, I hear of God saying, come back to me with all your heart. Don't let fear keep us apart. Trees do bend, both straight and tall. So do we when others fall. Long have I waited for you coming home to me and living clearly our new life. That line from Hosea and that song always is God who's always here coming back to us. And this is the season that we really focus on our humanity and that as much as we want to follow God, we're human. And so the cross in ashes remind us that we're going to die someday. Now, without understanding the, you know, the words that go with this, it kind of sounds harsh, doesn't it? Remember, you are dust, and under dust you shall return. Now, if you don't know better, you can say, you're dirt, and you're going to die. <laughs> no, it's more like, no matter what difficulty is going on right now, including a tragic war in the Ukraine, that you know what? This world doesn't last forever. Our pain, our suffering, the injustice, the difficulty, this doesn't last forever. And so we focus some time on getting close to God because that connection does last forever. Another way to look at that is that we have bodies and sometimes they just get the best of us because they have urges. It's kind of like, oh, I want something to eat. I want something to drink, you know? And if we like a little alcohol or we like to watch videos or whatever it is, sometimes those things can have some hold over us and we're not even free. And so that's why during Lent, we focus on things spiritual. And so I think it's really important, at least for me, I have to give some things up. You know, I used to give up just pop, you know, but I give up all sweets. I may not do it perfectly, but then it's, I think it's easier to give up them all than, than just one or two. And that way I just remind myself, I say no. You know, I think it's important to say no to us, to ourselves, because it practices on the little things so we can do them to bigger things. We also are supposed to pray more and to be generous. Yes, almsgiving is part of it. And I always ask people to give something to the ACA and make sure that everyone's giving something to the parish, giving something to the poor, and also giving to other people. And for me, part of my generosity for this Lent is doing some of those things I've been too busy to do. Like when was the last time that you saw a doctor or the dentist, you know, or did these projects that we've been putting off that people need us to do? Maybe those things will be part of your Lent. So as I always say, when it comes to our Lenten promises, it's important to have a plan. Write it down. How are you gonna pray more? How are you gonna be more generous? And how are you going to give things up and fast? We need to have a plan or they won't be done. The second thing I would say, it's important to really challenge yourself. I worked with someone who said, boy, I give up pop, but I could never do it. And I'm thinking, heck, if he did half the pop that he usually talks, he usually drinks, that would be something. You know, and he would still be able to do it some days. But challenge yourself because what happens is when we break the hold of some of these habits and sins have on us, it makes more room for God. That really makes us change. No one would ever, ever doubt a golfer going away and spending thousands of dollars to be able to have some special teacher, you know, prevent him from doing a bad habit, like hooking or slicing. I think hook goes left and slice goes right. I don't know golf. But right, we would do that. Those are habits and we want to get good habits. Lent's a time to get good habits spiritually because our bodies don't last forever. And life is about more than that. So I invite you on this Ash Wednesday 
to, to start a happy Lent by writing down a plan, commitments that you're going to do, that I'm going to do, so that when we get to Easter, we're different, maybe even a little more and more full of God's grace. So remember, we are dust and unto dust we shall return. The bodies aren't everything. Let us live for Jesus, live for the Spirit, and have a wonderful and happy Lent. God bless you.